I want to start with you here, and we also have Zach Lowe joining us. Perk, where do the Clippers go from here after what you heard from Woj? Well, <clears throat> one thing I know about Ty Lu from him coaching me in Boston and co uh, coaching me in Cleveland, Ty Lu wants to win. Like, put, give him some guys that he could go out there and compete with, and he's going to figure it out. And I think – where the Clippers are right now, they, they're right the AC sitting at 500. And they're like, hold on, if we could get a Norman Powell and Robert Covington, which they did, mm. and co maybe a Kawhi Leonard in March or April along with a Paul George, hey, we could m really make a run at this because what they figured out is is that Reggie Jackson could hold his own. Uh, Zubak has been playing well. So the Clippers are saying... While, while we're sitting up here talking about Golden State, Phoenix, the Lakers, uh, Memphis, all these other teams, they're saying, wait a second, our aspirations is still to win a championship, and I actually love this move by the Clippers. Zach, what do you make of this trade? I think it's a great trade for the Clippers. Perk is dead on. Steve Ballmer, yeah, Paul George is hurt, Kawhi Leonard's hurt. He doesn't believe in throwing seasons away. This trade helps them right now, but it's more about next year. This is a salvo from the Clippers. We are going into next season hoping to be the favorites to win the NBA championship with Kawhi and Paul George back. Let's break it down. Robert Covington is a free agent this summer. Eric Bledsoe, Justice Winslow were not in the Clippers' long-term plans. This deal could really just be Keon Johnson and a second-round pick for Norm Powell. If that's the case, that's a home run for the Clippers. Norm Powell is a great fit for them. And by the way, they can still re-sign Robert Covington. I think Steve Ballmer can afford a pretty big luxury tax payment. And it's, <laughs> it's maybe a hedge against what if, Nick, right. what if Nick Batum opts out of his deal and leaves in free agency. Well, then we can have Covington sort of do that same role. He gets a home run for the Clippers. The Blazers, I think it's a little bit disappointing return. But this is for the Clippers. This is a signal to the league. We are coming in loaded next season. Mm. Yeah, you know it's going to be a good day when all of us agree. I loved this trade, you know, for both parties involved, you know, offloading the checkbooks for Portland. But more importantly, when it comes to competitive teams that we have high expectations for, that's the Clippers. And, the, you know, if there was a theme from last night to tonight, their veterans lead the way for them. Yeah. You know, Reggie Jackson, if you look at Serge Ibaka having a big output, Marcus Morris Sr., plus the great coaching of Ty Lu. Then you add in a Norm Powell, who shout out to Norm Powell, he trains with someone that I know, AJ Diggs. And so to bring him back to LA, uh, my trainer. And then also adding, you know, uh, just development. You know, they've done a good job of developing the guys that they've drafted, but more importantly, putting together a group that is very veteran, very experienced, and very poised. So next year, they're going to be right in the conversation, as Zach said, for championship. Well, and you mentioned it, Chanae. I mean, Serge uh, uh, Ibaka, I was in the building last night, Perk, and Serge Ibaka, I mean, he was so instrumental for what they were able to do and the energy that they were able to kind of put together. But the key for him has been that he's been healthy recently. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.